I'm gonna try my hardest and try not to make their five year old demographic mad or five to ten year old. I know this is like popular big YouTubers, Pat and Jen. Oh yeah, Pat and Jen. I don't really mind the fact that it was Pat and Jen. In fact, remember that this is criticism. Cr it's criticism, okay, buddy. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just doing some criticism on Pat and Jen about things I don't like about their channel, and things that I absolutely hate about it, and the things that they need to change, just because there are a lot of them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is their content. Generally, I believe their content is pretty decent, not bad. I mean, but there's a few problems with the content, and if you already haven't noticed, they basically... They basically upload the same thing over and over and over. By this, I mean, it's, it's either a lucky block race, a hide and seek, or it's a destroy something. I mean, burn something. These videos are constantly uploaded, and it's kind of just getting annoying, in my opinion. Like, you can't tell me it's not getting annoying. Just seeing one day you see burn it, Kylie Jenner. The next day you see burn it. Elmo, or burn it, Spongebob, burn it, Uganda Knuckles, burn it this, burn it that. At this point, there's pretty much a burn it map made for everything, and a lucky block made for everything. Heck, there's probably a map made for every hide and seek. And in my opinion, it's just getting annoying seeing the same content repeatedly over and over. And I mean, they tried Fortnite once, but it didn't work. I haven't seen the upload Fortnite since. But even since then, like... It at least gave a little bit of diversity to their channel. Like, they shouldn't have removed it. I feel like I enjoyed seeing Fortnite, something new to their channel. And just seeing Minecraft over and over and over and over. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't mind Minecraft. I don't play it. I haven't seen anybody who plays it. I have one friend in school, and the only reason he plays it is because his phone doesn't run Creative Destruction. Yeah, I bet that. But still, I haven't seen anybody play Minecraft. Minecraft is pretty much dead. And even though Pat and Jen's viewers are up like 5 and 10, I still think even for them, their content is getting annoying. So I'm just surprised that they haven't changed anything yet. I'm more surprised that nobody has called them out on this yet. I know it's 5 to 10, but like, come on, dude. Nobody's going to say anything? Like, come on. All right, well, I just looked at their channel. It actually has more diversity than I thought. I'm trash. I meant game-wise, not audio-wise, like I was saying. I mean game-wise. The game is getting annoying. Well, not get the game. Am I dumb? I mean, the channel's getting annoying. Basically, for a few reasons. One, I just said, it's not really the video type. I'm kind of dumb about that. I was, I was trying to say the game type. Like, they play the same Minecraft game over and over. And I guess Roblox too, but like, is that all? Like, come on, anything else? Like, Roblox or Minecraft, really? Pretty much the last thing, I mean the literal last thing that I have to pick about is literally just the sheer fact that it's getting so annoying. It's not trying to be mean, I'm trying to be mean, but this is constructive criticism. All right, constructive Criticism, C R I T I Z M. But I'm just saying, I'm starting to get a little annoyed by Jen's voice. Now, I really, really am not trying to be mean here. Really not. Like, she has a 10, a 10 year old army. I'm going to get demolished. But I'm just saying, man, like, Jen's voice is really annoying. And I don't mean, like, as a person annoying. I'm just meaning the kind of times or how much that she screams in one video. Or like how high pitched her voice is. I know that's normal for some videos, for some YouTubers or videos. But if you die in Minecraft so often, and every time you do, you scream ah, or something like that, it gets really annoying, or overrated. When you do it for two years straight, then it really, it really gets on some people's nerves, like mine. Like it never changes the same thing, and when it's not that, and rarely, and I mean rarely. Maybe once a year, when Jen isn't in the video, it's just boring at the same time. 
And I don't mean because because Jen's not there, or Jen excites it all and stuff. I mean, Jen's kind of just there. I mean the fact that as soon as it's there, Pat acts like depressed and stuff, and it's hard to watch the video. Like, yeah, let's look at uh, one of the, the videos. Now, believe me when I say believe me. It's pretty much a Dokkan battle card, like the Frieza and Goku one. For sure, Pat and Jen are lovebirds, or whatever you want to call it. Like, definitely they have a bond that nobody can break, like, barely any YouTubers can even attempt, and it won't work. But I'm just saying, like, it will it hurt Pat to play with literally anybody else than Jen? Like, I'm trying my hardest not to be mean here, but, like, tell me one video where you've seen somebody else introduced. I know that's kind of their style. It's kind of like a FGTV kind of style. But just please include somebody else. It would change it up very much. Like, if they said something like they had a guest speaker or something, that would actually change up their content very much, make it spicy. Like, I actually wish that maybe one of them could see this video, show it to the other one, maybe they both see it. But I highly doubt that, just because I'm not one of the most popular YouTubers. So probably, ta like, tagging this video or not, nobody's gonna see it. That sucks. But yeah, this is my opinion on Pat and Jen. And yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, that's good,